Katina, we've, we've looked at the portfolios of investments, how you can manage investments, different areas. We've looked at the five different categories of tax planning. The next area I want to look at is the risk management planning. And the two primary areas we want to deal with here is how do we protect, number one, your human capital, your ability to earn, protecting you basically financially, but also protecting financial capital. If anything happens to you, it doesn't eat into all the finances that you've built, all the wealth you've built up over these years. So when we look at risk management, there's six different categories here. Uh, the first one is premature death. Right? And obviously, a young woman, it's not a big risk to you by any means statistically, but it's got to be something that you consider. You've got children, they'd have to be taken care of. So we look at how do you mitigate that risk. If you weren't here to earn income, how are the kids taken care of? Now, do you have insurance, life insurance through work? No. Nothing through work? Not through work. Okay. Um, have you got your own policies? Yes. Okay, and when you sat down with your insurance advisor, did you go through an insurance needs analysis to figure out how much? Uh, I think you did. You think so, okay. Yeah. Possible, good. Okay. The next risk is disability. You know, what happens if you were disabled? Uh, you're still around, you just can't work. What does that do to you? Because in reality, you can't work, so you're not earning an income, but you tend to cost more to live. So what would that do to you and your dependents to the kids? So you don't have any of that coverage through work, is that right? No, I don't. And do you have a private disability policy? Yes. You do, so you've sat down with that, excellent. Uh, the next area that we look at is critical illness. Uh, you know, these are the things, cancers, heart, different areas of, of health concerns that can knock you out of play for a little while, but not kill you, thankfully, but not disable you permanently either, but they can cost a lot of money. You might need to go for procedures out of province, out of country and such. And it's how do you ensure that that doesn't also deplete your mid to long term resources. So we want to make sure that's taken care of. Uh, the next one really is health. The cost of health care, you know, beyond what you receive through the, the government, and I presume you've got none of this through work as well, you don't have the package. So it's do you have sufficient coverage or have you got the assets? Because not all of these risks demand insurance if you've got sufficient assets to take care of them. Unfortunately, a lot of these risks are very expensive and you would need more than just what you've got. So we'll take a look at what kind of health care you do have. Uh, the next one's a big one, liabilities. So covering off different liabilities, your car, right? your auto, if anything happens to someone else especially, how are you covered on a liability issue, your home? Uh, you're a professional, I know you probably have errors and omissions insurance through work, I would think, is yes. that right? So yeah. you've got the e &O, that's terrific. Uh, you just wanna make sure that that coverage is suitable to the risk that you have in your profession because it can be catastrophic if in fact you're sued beyond the errors and omissions cost. And then finally, long-term care. You know, and this isn't necessarily that important to you right now, but the cost of long-term care, if in fact you can't take care of yourself and you have to pay others to take care of you, well, do you need insurance? Do you have enough assets? And the whole idea here with risk management is to build yourself up financially so that you don't have to be paying premiums on every insurance policy that's out there because it's very expensive to cover yourself off. Totally, it's a cash flow issue. So we want to optimize the insurances that you have now, what you might need, but also look at what you can do to not have certain insurances as well. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm.